<laughs> yeah, fuck off, Fina. Piss off. You just, I hate you, Fina. Hi ho, Bigglesworth. Hello and welcome to Hi Ho Bigglesworth. My name is Timothy Babblehemp and this is Evil Land 2. So last time we went through the haunted forest and now we're in demon territory. All this purpley shit is demon territory. And this is the demon camp. North of the demon camp on that little one little square mountain bit. That's where the, the next place I need to go is. Yeah, but first we need to meet all these demons. <laughs> Look! Humans! How did they find our camp? Quick! Grab them! We can't let them escape! Wait! Wait! Lord Minos! You're alive! The king thought you lost forever after the sorcerers captured you! These humans helped me to escape Genova. They are my guests. No harm must come to them. Humans helped you? Believe it or not, they did. Take me to my father. I must speak with him at once. And inform my son that I have returned. Minos has a son. Okay. <laughs> yes, Lord Minos. Lord Minos? I will explain everything later. I must see my father before it is too late. Thank you again for your help. Okay, so are we free to walk around this camp now? Yeah, let's go and find Minos' son. You're lucky, humans. How some humans like you fooled Lord Minos, that I do not know. But I've got my eye on you. His beady little eye. Yeah, beady. Okay, so this this is the demon camp. It's a little bit of a shit all really. But I'm not I'm not gonna tell Minos that. No, he might go psycho and attack me or something. Like a bastard. Okay, let that's can I open this this chest? No. Okay, I'm just exploring around, because there may be treasure. Some sort of treasure. Hello. You should probably follow Lord Minos and see what's happening. But since you seem so interested in the lives of demon soldiers here, I will tell you about my own. I was born 60 years ago, which makes me fairly young for a demon. We live much longer than humans, you know. My childhood in Timonia was rather peaceful. There were indeed a few wars with your previous emperor, but nothing too serious. Fairly routine, you know. Humans and demons have never really gotten along, which reminds me that I once had a human friend. Oh, he wasn't like you at all. But we had some good times together. And that's probably why I'm telling you all this. In fact, what was I going to say? I don't really remember. But no matter, thank you for coming and speaking with me. It's nice to chat with someone. The other demons don't like to talk to me on account I talk too much. As if liking to talk was a flaw. Well. It's true, I like to have a chat with people who come and see me, but then they quickly walk away. Do you have any idea why? No, of course you don't. It also seems I forgot that I've met people, and so I do the same thing over and over. Can you believe that? I, for one, believe it, because I don't know if you've noticed, but everyone does the same thing. It's really odd, isn't it? I do wonder if there's not an unsolved mystery in there somewhere, a hidden meaning to the universe. That we're all just robots made to spit out what someone else wrote. Yeah, I know, I'm talking nonsense, but why not, right? After all, the greatest strides made by science were based on the most outrageous theories. Well, that's me done, I think. Okay, finally, finally stop talking. I was expecting more then. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, so he liked to talk. Let's see, let's see if the other demons like to talk. Humans in the Demon King's camp? Now I've seen it all. Don't touch anything. Okay. All right, let's not talk to them because that might, that'll set off a cutscene. And I, I want to talk to these demons first. I will never trust humans again. Not after that attack in the middle of a truce. Okay, so they attacked during a truce. Okay. 
Something weird's going on. I don't know why they attacked. Uh, I might find out. Maybe. I don't really care though. It's just a war. It's probably sad for a stupid reason. Your human friends attacked us by surprise, despite the truce we observed for nearly ten years. How could they be so cowardly? I don't know. Don't really care. Let's buy some weapons. Any friend of Lord Minos is a friend of mine. What do you need? Uh, let's buy a bronze sword. Yeah. Buy a bronze sword for 200 gold. Yes. I got a bronze sword. It looks nice, but dang is it heavy. Let's buy the bronze armor as well. Buy bronze armor for 250 gold. Yes. Okay. Whenever you take it off, you'll be able to jump 10 feet in the air. Okay. Right. Uh, do I need to sell anything? Old sword. No, I, I want to keep all my stuff. Yeah, I can't I can't sell the armor or the Oricon sword. I bet the bronze sword isn't as good as the Oricon sword. Probably not, no. Come back anytime! Okay. Right, so north is to the, uh, the place. Should I go there? I can go there. I thought something would block me. I'm not going to go there yet, though. That's where I need to go if I want to travel back to my time, but I want to see what happens next. We need to find that out. But first, we have to go and break these flowers. Hello. Aren't you hungry? I am, and you look pretty appetizing. <laughs> like I was going to eat you. Then again, that's the kind of stories you tell your young ones, right? Yeah, pro possibly, yeah. It does make sense that they would say that about the demons. Humans? I've already talked to you. Go away. Okay. Hello, Minas. Father, I have returned. Minas, my son. I thought I had lost you. When the Empire's soldiers joined forces with the sorcerers and attacked us out of nowhere, despite our ten-year truce, you were the one who stepped in and allowed us to escape. I only did my duty as general of our people's army. I had to protect you. You did your duty. I'll grant you that. The current situation is dire. Following the surprise attack by the Empire's forces, we were separated from the rest of the army. I have been trying to rally our troops from here, but we're too far behind. The sorcerer's power is too great. Father, we must fight. I know, but the but things are off to a bad start. I fear Demonia will be attacked before we can reach and defend it. After centuries of coexistence, it seems the humans have now decided to exterminate us. We cannot let that happen. And not all humans are evil. I learned that during my stay in Genova. I am glad that you made friends in these dark times. Father, there is something else. The Empire. They have built something they call the Weapon. I have yet to identify its energy source, but it has frightening power. If they ever use it against us, our entire kingdom would be wiped off the map. I've heard stories about this weapon, but I did not think. If what you say is true, we must stop them from using it. I will not leave my people to die. Father. Dad! Dad! You came back! I knew you were alive! Reno, my son, forgive me, my absence must have caused you much grief. Not one bit. I didn't even cry. I knew my dad was the strongest of all. <laughs> yes, your father is very strong indeed. He killed all those mean humans and came home. Yeah! Are those humans your prisoners, dad? No, those are nice humans. I would even call them my friends. 
Nice humans? But there are no nice humans! <laughs> you shall see when you grow up. I hope you too will have human friends. Not fucking likely. That weapon's gonna get activated. Never! Okay. Fine. Miss Fina, the exterminator, forgive him. He is but a child, and to him all humans are the enemy. I understand. But if human children and demon children all believe the myths, can there ever be peace between our two peoples? I almost forgot. You did not come here to listen to these stories. I will take you to the Maglith. It's north of the encampment on the bluff. And I, I have already been there. Ish. He didn't answer my question. Shut up, Fina. <laughs> okay, I I'm glad to be leaving the demon camp now. I should probably talk to the king. Yeah, first. Just talk to the king. Thank you for helping my son escape. The kingdom of Demonia is eternally grateful to you. I must find a way to contact Lothair. We must avoid this disaster. Yeah. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm, I'm glad that I'm leaving the demon camp now, because th that has fucking killed my throat, doing them demon voices. <laughs> Just give it a little bit of gruffness. I know my voices aren't that good anyway, but I still try, and I give it a bit of gruffness, it's hurt my throat. My throat is all scratchy now. Right, here's the Magalith. Minos, you're coming to back to where the future, or too far in the future, back to our time, or back in the past. I don't know where we're going, but you're coming with us, Minos. You're standing too close. Here is the Magalith I spoke of. Yeah, it's gonna start doing something. That's definitely a Magalith. It has the same symbols etched into it as the one that brought us here. But then... I don't know how to activate it. Wait a minute! Minos' son, Reno, that was that was the demon at the start that did something, that, that wanted to blow off my town. Yeah, well, Fina's town, not my town. I don't know where I'm from. But it, it, was, it was fucking Minos' son, the bastard. I'm going to give Minos a slap. I am. The, fir the first chance I get, I'm going to give him a slap. Activate it. Magaliths are nothing more than monuments of the ancient Magi. Civilization. They do not serve any purpose. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I know what that was. <laughs> what was that? that? That would be humans attacking. Dad! It's the Empire! The sorcerers are attacking the camp! What? How in the world did they find us? Find them? No member of the Demonian royal family must get away! Oh fuck, I gotta fight sorcerers now. Ah oh, shit. Ah, there you are! The great, the great mages. Run away, son! Run! Well, don't run that way, there's loads of them! <laughs> Fucking hell, he could at least jump in the water or something. Minos Demonia, son of King Arthas, general and heir to the throne. I have you to thank for this. Me? No! How did you? How did I follow you? Oh, it wasn't that hard, although I didn't think you would make it through the haunted forest. But when you did survive, all it took to track you down was guessing where you would exist exit from. And here I am. What have I done? This is all my fault? Oh, don't fret now. You won't have to despair much longer. Watch out! I broke the Magalith, you bastard! I let his release the energy! Or is that a sword? Can I use that to kill him? Yeah, stab him in the eye. No, no, we're getting transported. We're going somewhere. Yeah. Bye bye, Great Majors. Hi. <laughs> Piss off. Yeah. They disappeared? How could that be? Find them! They can't be very far. <laughs> They're fucking far away. <laughs> They're in the same spot. 
But they're far away. You'll never catch them. Well, they might catch. They might catch us. It depends where we are. Well, we're clearly well in the future now. Look at this fucking hell. <laughs> okay. Well into the future now. Yeah. <laughs> Could you get up, will you? There we go. <laughs> looks so different, but then it's got this, this fucking, this still looks exactly the same, the talking thing. Hello! Well, what the heck were you doing here? You weren't taking advantage of my being... Where are we anyway? The Magalith. It activated when the sorcerer de destroyed it. It means we're back home. Clearly not. <laughs> well, I hope I have this strange feeling of volume. Just like that day I ate too much chocolate, but without the stomach ache. Don't you have the same feeling, Cujo? Yes, I do, clearly, obviously. It's odd. None of us had chocolate mousse. <laughs> Fina deserves a slap. So does Minos. Everyone deserves a slap in this game. Except for Cujo. He, he's alright. Anyway, enough about this chocolate mousse thing. <laughs> Fucking hell. That maglith will no longer work. You think? You think, Fina? <laughs> it's completely smashed. We're lucky it worked the first time. He's got such a flat face. <laughs> Where have the sorcerers gone? And my son, how is he? Minos. Actually, it's a bit complicated. Where should I begin? What do you mean, complicated? They are all dead, is that it? Well... Hold on, let me explain. Yeah, go on, try and explain, Fina. This isn't gonna be easy. We're, we're... We're not in the same time as before. Kuju and me come from the present. I mean, for you, it's the future. But to us, your present is our past. I'm not sure I'm being very clear. I did not understand a thing. <laughs> They are all dead? Is that what you are trying to tell me? In a way, yes. Or maybe they're just older. I refuse to continue this conversation. I must find my son and save my father. Bye, Minas. I think I'm gonna need a new approach. We can't leave him alone, Kujo. Okay, fuck it, hell, yeah! I, I, I can't rotate the camera, though. That, that's one problem. But look at that. Oh, yeah, this looks amazing. Okay, let's let's go. Let's try and find Minos. Where is he? Uh, he's... Uh, oh, my God. Okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> the fuck is this? Minos? In the year 950 of our Lord... Here were the demons vanquished by Emperor Lothair and his troops. The inscription on this statue. How is this possible? That's what I was trying to explain, Minos. The Magalith. We travelled through time. Kuju and I come from year 999, almost 50 years after the demons were defeated. An accident led us to your time, and the Empire captured us. And when the great mages destroyed the Magalith, something came out of it. I think that thing brought us here. I really wished we'd return home, but I get the feeling we're in a different time period. All of this seems impossible. And yet, this statue. But why? What is the meaning of our lives if everything is already written? I don't understand it much myself, but look at Cujo. He continues to fight no matter what. At first, I was terrified at the thought of being lost, 
but while following Cujo, I began to understand. Life is just right now, this very moment, wherever you happen to be. I don't know if the past has already happened, or if the future can be changed, but I know I exist right here, right now. It's just me in the here and now, and Cujo is the one who made me realize that. So I'm not afraid anymore. Although rats and mushrooms still do it, of course. <laughs> okay. I am not convinced. My people have been conquered, and I shouldn't be here. My son, what has become of him? Instead of asking ourselves all these questions, we'd be better off looking for another Magalith. If we were able to go back into the past, then you should be able to return to your own time. Let's focus on that instead of dwelling on questions we can't answer. Hey, don't I sound like an adult, Cujo? <laughs> Fuck off, Fina. Piss off. You just, I hate you, Fina. I don't know if I can be as strong as Dexterminator or Miss Fina, but I'll do my best. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, let, let's just see... I'm probably gonna just leave now, aren't I? Yeah, there's not gonna be anything there now, because I don't know how far in the future I am. Holy fucking shit! Whoa! Look at this, it's amazing! Okay. Right, there's a camp down there. There's something there. Oh my god. Okay, so next time, we're gonna explore the future! Yeah, we'll probably have to go to the haunted forest again. We gotta go there, we gotta see what happened to Mr. Lizard now that he's all alone. Yeah, <laughs> this looks amazing. I still can't turn the camera though. Uh, I can change my character. I didn't realize I could do that. Okay, so next time we will go and explore the future. See what's changed. Yeah, so I've been Timothy Babblehub. This has been Evil Land 2. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.